And okay, so we are about to. Yeah, uh, good evening, everybody. Before I start, can I ask everybody to put the cameras on so we can know who is who? And we do a little uh, round the table self um, introduction. Uh, my name is Guillermo Rocco. I am the coach of the A1 team, the A team in Stad. And uh, today we have a very nice uh, seminar ahead of us. So uh, if we can go around the table, uh, let's see. Um, Pascal, I'll give you a word to you so you can get it started. Your sound is not on, Your Pascal. Sound. Correct, thanks. Uh, beginner's uh, mistake. <laughs> so thanks a lot uh, for organizing uh, to both uh, Guillermo and SIP. Uh, very important uh, that we can join and try to get uh, more knowledge and learn about what is rugby. I think that's the best way to, to get passionate and to get uh, better it's about better understanding. So that's all about the session and the promotion we are doing today. So today uh, we will get a good explanation of what is the, the staff. And uh, yes, I'm uh, very happy to, to promote this, uh, this action um, as a club. So back to you, uh, Guillermo, maybe. Okay, yes, if you have, for example, Carl, can you say a few words, who you are, uh, what your role is, and um, just very briefly introduce yourselves, Carl. Ciprian, please. Yeah, where are you, Karl? A bit of what you do in the in the Verein, and so that we know where you where are. Where I am, you know. I am. I am Karl. I am in the A team. By the Old Boys and by Touch. I have two two children who are one by the U10 and by the U. Perfect. Thank you, Carl. Let's continue to Sam. Hey, boys. How you doing? Uh, my name is Sam. I played back and forth at Stad. I used to play a lot in, in school, under 18s. Sure, they are. Yeah, see the players. Sorry, what? Continue. Con Okay. <laughs> yeah, I used to play back and forth, like I said. And then after school, I went to the military. It was like an on-off thing. I went to a lot of practices, but couldn't play. Then went to university, played at uni a little bit. And then now I'm here doing my internship, joining for this year, hoping to play again. Let's see how this goes. Excited, boys. Excellent. Thank you, Sam. Pascal Luxen. Uh, hello, good evening. So my name is Pascal. Uh, I'm just a player of the Social Dutch group. And I have some interest in eventually become part of a pool of uh, uh, trainers to help uh, uh, trainers on Saturday for the, with the children and things like that when, when we are available and someone wants to, to be on holidays or whatsoever. So I'm happy to join. I uh, joined late, but... <laughs> Here at least. Thank you very much for organizing. Thank you. Thank you, Pascal. Mojo. Your sound, your sound is off. Yes, beginner's mistake. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, my name, my real name is Johannes Merck, <laughs> aka Mojo. I'm a prop within the A team currently recovering from a knee injury from, from last season. So, uh, yeah, at the moment I'm supporting Guillermo with, uh, let's say, training a little bit, uh, specializing on, on a little bit of forward training. Yeah, uh, lucky to be here. Thanks for organizing this meeting. Thanks, Mojo. Uh, I don't know your name, Pot Masi, it says in your screen. <laughs> yeah, so my name is, uh, is Philip. Good evening. Philip. Good evening. So uh, I'm not playing rugby. I'm just a father of three boys playing rugby in the U8, uh, U10, U12, and U14. Okay, I'm just uh, here to get more knowledge and to be able Great. to teach my boys the right way. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Great to have you. Welcome. Let's see, Etienne, if you can hear me, Etienne, we cannot see you. Maybe you are like uh, in parental parental mode. Your sound is good. Can you... 
Testing, testing. Oh, We cannot hear you. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, I'm Etienne. Uh, I'm a player of Team A with Cyprian and Mojo. And I'm tra- I was training last season U10 and this season the woman with Alain. And, and we, we are starting the first training tonight, but I, I couldn't go. And yeah, that's it. Player and uh, woman and girls uh, coach, assistant coach. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Etienne. Let's see, Philippe, are you there? Or Jules, either one. If you can hear us, put the camera on and say a few words. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Hello. I'm his father. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we were planning to attend both, but uh, okay, I see that Julie's twelve. There's not many young players, so I think he's dropping out. <laughs> and I have absolutely no clue about rugby, <laughs> so good, I'm not good, good. really sure I should stay. Let's so hope perhaps, in the next half an hour you have a better inform that uh, right now. Yeah, I can perhaps stay in a silent mode if you don't mind. As you wish, as you wish. No, but Chloe, Chloe, you have to stay. Yeah? That's for sure. That's. Uh, I have to stay. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Okay. so many years with us. Saturday. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Philippe, are you there? Jules. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, move on. We are we're gonna run the table. We are gonna get started, and I think um, we just have Julian. a new a new one. Uh, Julian is coming. Oh, Julian, Julian, we just starting. Before we start, we are self introducing ourselves. Julian, can you hear us? Can you say a few words? We just finished our self introductions. So if you could put your camera on and say a couple of words about yourself, please. Do you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so should I introduce myself? Okay, great. Very briefly, yeah. Uh, very briefly, okay, great. I'm Julien, I'm the manager of the team, the senior team, and I'm also a player. Should I, do you need more information? That is great. Nice oh, and brief. Okay. Na- nice and brief to the point. So it's almost quarter per se. Let's crack on. Um, if you, um, Ciprian, can give me the what we rehearse. Let's see. Let's hope the in the IT. Uh, you can do it. You you don't need more. Just just uh, share your. Okay. Can I share my screen then? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if I can. Can you guys see the full screen? No. So I give you okay. to you. Let's see. Screen. Okay, share screen. Hang on a minute. Now, now I'm able. Okay. No. No. I give you the the host. Uh, yeah. yeah, you have to give me the host. There you go. Guillermo is host. I'm the host now. So can I share my screen? There we go. Now we're talking. Let's see. Can you? Positive. There it is. Can you see this full screen? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Let's minimize this thing so I can see everything. Okay. Okay. So welcome. Um, in this evening, um, we just uh, had a few words um, by Pascal. Today we're going to be talking about the introduction to Rugby Ready as a program. And this program is uh, kindly offered by um, World Rugby International. And we are just making use of this free resource. Uh, Hopefully we'll be um, talking around half an hour, maybe less. I'll be giving a a little bit of a presentation and then doing a bit of a live demo. And then we have a a few questions at the end. So let's, let's see if we can do it within that time frame. And uh, in this first screen in the little pink um, square. It was a bit of a motivation back in 2007 when this program was launched. And uh, I'm not going to read it, but at the end is is all about a player welfare. So we look after our players and what do we need to do to um, enjoy the sport in the safest uh, possible way. So that's uh, the spirit of this program. And we in start we would like all of the people um parents coaches players friends 
anybody who is involved, referees, anybody who is involved to have uh, um, to participate in this program because we think it's uh, the um, uh, the more people that can go through this, the, the in as a group will be a safer a safer place to play rugby. So let me just move to the next slide and explain a few things. Things. Uh, what, what is it? What is uh, rugby ready? Rugby Ready is a free resource from World Rugby. So World Rugby is the association that, that, that manages rugby in the, in worldwide, and they have this free resource online um, that anybody can, can actually access. It's very simple. You just have to create your own account with a little username and password, and that's it. You're in. And, um, and since um, it's a free resource, but what does it talk about? It's, it mainly talks about rugby knowledge, and it's... it's um, is knowledge for whom it approaches everybody because it's very it's made in a very simple way. If you want to learn about rugby, about uh, um, in the, the parents that want to learn about rugby and they, they don't know much, they can build up the knowledge. Uh, people who are players and they they play rugby for some time, they know a bit of rugby. They can refresh people who have played before and they want to update their no knowledge about the rules. Things change uh, normally every year in rugby. Or if you are an excellent, you know, very uh, professional rugby player, you can test yourself because in every module there are little tests and you can go straight into a test and see, see how much you think, you know. So it's a, it's a great resource, very easy to use. It's all online and we'll be explaining it a bit further in detail in the, in the next slides. Um, there are three main themes or topics in, in, in this uh, um, resource. And these are, are these. Are these. One is uh, all about match preparation, a rugby match. How do we prepare for it? Uh, another theme is what kind of techniques do we use to train and to play and to prepare ourselves to play? So what is a correct technique? And that's very useful for coaches, very useful for players, and very useful for parents seeing uh, how they, they, their kids uh, um, train. So that, that everybody gets to know what is right and what is wrong and how can we improve? And all, all, of course, uh, we are focused on safety and the injury prevention approach to everything we do. Because as we know, uh, rugby is, um, uh, there are some risk of injury. And, and the more we know um, how, to, how to prepare ourselves, um, the more we know how to prevent things, uh, is the better for all of us. So um, that's very briefly what Rugby Ready is. Uh, it is a website um, in, this, uh, in this page. You can see on top, uh, I'm not sure if you can see my mouse. I'm just playing with my mouse on the address line, uh, rugbyrevy.worldrugby.org. Um, it's, it's, it's a free um, um, website, so you can uh, open accessible to everybody. The um, home page looks like this. Um, and on, there are three tabs here. And let me just discuss a little bit uh, which uh, a couple of more details on, on, this, uh, on this page itself. So uh, when it says passport site, that is a list of other uh, resources. The top one being the uh, rugby ready, the page we are seeing now. But there are others. And you can browse through them. And you can uh, see there is plenty of information, plenty of things you can actually te teach yourself about um, rugby. Uh, laws of the game, um, strength and conditioning, coaching, uh, refereeing, integrity, many things. So this is a great free resource that you can use. In this case, we are actually today, we're going to be talking only about rugby ready. On the language tab, it's a great thing about this uh, website. It's very multinational, multilingual, and uh, you can choose the language you feel comfortable with and go ahead and do it. And here is a list of, of the options. So that's, um, that's quite uh, interesting. And here on the top right of the corner, you can see the, there is a login button. So when you first log in, you will be like in the open site. And if you want to go on into depth and start doing the modules yeah, and you click login, they will ask you create an account and all these things. So that's, that's a fairly simply, not very complicated uh, page. Uh, let me go to the next uh, slide. That is um, what I was just mentioning, where they, when you click login, you will be asked for your training passport. This normally this email address and a password is valid for all the other um, um, sites. For example, in these passport sites, they share the same account. So it's not only for rugby ready, 
but you can uh, once you create one username and, and password, it applies to all of them. So that's, that's quite handy in that sense. Um, okay, so uh, in terms of what is inside and um, and going a bit more into detail, why is this uh, doing this um, in modules is good for you? Uh, and you, I'm referring to the parents, to the uh, to the players, to the coaches, to the friends um, who are interested, to the potential referees, anybody who is going to be involved in rugby. First of all, it's a tool to, for risk management. And risk management, as, as you know, from work or from, or from other activities, is all about understanding what are the risks associated with rugby. And if we have a good understanding, then we can do many things to mitigate those risks. So everything is at the end of the day is about safe, um, safety and playing and doing the best we can to be the safest we can and, and, and minimize um, injuries and, and, um, and bad outcomes. So uh, it's also uh, good for you in terms of learning good practice. Uh, and, and that is reflected on, on, on a better awareness of the way we move, the way certain plays are done, the way players interact, uh, and how the rules uh, um, apply to the players and the, uh, what they do with the ball, if he's kicked or not kicked, and many things. Having a knowledge of that good practice also help us uh, prevent injuries because we are having a good, uh, we're talking about positioning, it's, it's a very physical sport, as you all know. So having a good posture, good fitness, good strength is paramount to actually maintain a good, um, a, a good uh, level of, of fitness. Um, availability to play and also minimizing injuries. Um, how are we going to do this? How do how do we get involved with the, with the rugby ready? Actually, there are three options. Uh, one, there is a handbook we can download from this uh, website. I'll, I'll talk more about that later. Um, it's a little handbook, a few pages. You can read it. It's, it's, it's quite interesting. It's, it's good. Uh, even if you do the online learning, it's, it's good to have as a reminder of a few things. As a, revision. Um, there is a non learning, that's what we're talking about uh, today, that, that's our focus today, we're going to only do the online learning, and also it's a possibility of face-to-face, -face. I mean in, in COVID time this is a, a remote possibility at the moment, but it's also the uh, rugby world offers that, that, that possibility, and in at one point probably in the future we can probably uh, um, get involved with that. But today we'll be talking only about the online learning approach, and this takes me to the next page. Um, this is a, a, what the main page and menus look like. And I'm actually um, not logged in, so you're still asking me for login. But what I'll be doing, I'll be talking a little bit about these menus here on the left, on the gray. And um, first, I'll if, if say a few words about these top menus, which are mainly information. They're not the modules of themselves. Um, this is a bit of a blown up of those uh, uh, that word in there. Uh, I say a few words about the video library and some resources, and there are some uh, introductions and, and some uh, initial text you can read. Uh, then I'll be talking about this, uh, for example, this um, other resources in, in, in this kind of a world rugby, um, within the world rugby um, and rugby ready um, resource. Also, I'll be talking about a little bit of video li library, and I'll show that in the in the demo. Um, there are free resources. There are, oh, everything is free, as I mentioned before. Um, and in these free resources, you have, for example, the laws of rugby. So, you, for particularly, if you want to learn a bit more what what is allowed and what is not, if you're refereeing, this is very important as a player as well. Uh, there is a free resource on coaching, great resource, and it's also very, very recommendable for coaches and coaches wannabes to, to go through that uh, modules and, and read them. Uh, refereeing or officiating, uh, strength and conditioning. Also very important, concussion management. When, when, um, when players get a knock or a hit, particularly in the head, or, or, or in a very important, um, a strong um, hit in during the game, that's, that's a very important for us to to be aware how to treat, how to what, how to react to those kind of events, and uh, what the best for the player in, in those circumstances. And also, uh, first aid in rugby is, is also highly highly important for all of us, uh, no matter what what our role is. 
So plenty of uh, resources online, and they're also part of this, this Rugby Ready page. So feel free to actually browse them and, and, and get engaged. Um, something else I wanted to mention was the video library, which is very handy, very quick, is, 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 is educative uh, um, videos about different uh, topics, um, uh, warm-ups, um, open field, uh, rack, mold, tackle, different aspects of the game, all explained very nicely uh, in a very, um, I've done all this in, in English and it's, it's, it's very nice explained, not very fast, easy to understand and typically be very good, um, easy to follow example. So this is also a good resource for coaches if you wanna uh, teach something to your, to your players um, by watching these videos, that's, that's very uh, educational. Um, let's see, I see, gonna say not here, sorry, I saw Pascal was trying to get back in, yeah. Okay, so let's see, um, back to the home page. And let's talk about these modules. These modules in pink, in the little square, are the modules that for each one of them, once you are uh, logged in and you create an account, you will be entering each one of these module, modules, learning a little bit about it. There will be a lot of reading, some videos, some and the questions at the end. And if you answer the question correctly, and you, you can, uh, you know, do the questions repeated times, there is no limit. Then you pass that module, module and you get a tick and you move to the next one. So that is, um, you can do the modules one by one in order or any order you, you feel like. Um, but if you get to the, and I, I'll, I'll do a demo um, in a minute, but um, basically each one of these modules has a little test or questions. And when you click all of them, that is the aim for the whole Rugby Ready website to get a certificate saying that you've completed the whole setup. And it's very good to go th through the motion of, of going through each module. Let me just um, now try to go live to this module and I hope nothing breaks now. I'm coming out of, coming out of my um, presentation, trying to go into my screen. Let's see, here we are. Uh, do I need to change or can, uh, what can you see? Can you see the screen with rugby ready? Yes, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Okay, because I wasn't sure if I uh, I chose something on the sharing. Okay, so this is um this is the actual um screen. Let me just go back to home. That's the actual, the actual screen. I'm actually log, logged in, I think, no, I'm not logged in. So what I will do is uh, I'm gonna log in here. That's my train passport, Remind, remembers my, my details. I go in, I, as you see in this, um, this set of modules, the one they have the green tick are the ones that I've done. And, and if it's green and in tick is because I've replied all the, the um, questions um, correctly. So let me first go into which one is the line now. This, as an example, I'll go through one of them to, to show you how, what it looks like and what the, the, um, the different parts of each module. The first part is the, is the game content that gives you a very brief, you can see that the, the description is very brief, easy to read, um, very um, um, simple descriptions of in this particular case they line out one of the parts of the game you can go to the next um a page with this arrow here or by clicking you can see all the all the titles here are all the sections so you can click low definition for example and that gives you a very briefly a what does the um law of rugby says about line out again one line sometimes two lines very simple to follow then it jumps, you can jump to the next. Uh, I can click this next one. It takes you to the key points for the players. So that's uh, having the player in mind gives a few general points. Sometimes comes with graphs, like uh, sh this shows here, and explanations. Sometimes there are examples of what to do, how to practice, and what are the right um, um, positions that players should have, all with the, with the perspective of doing it safely. And this is a key point to take here. 
and uh, for example in the lineup how to um, um, race what, uh, the jumper and, and, and the people who catches the ball and how to land and, and so forth. So very nice, nicely explained with small sentences and loads of photos. Um, then uh, there is the next, the next page is mainly focused for the coach. If you're a coach, how you can, what, what you need to do to coach players, how to help them uh, get the, the best of this technique and what they, you should be correcting, how you should be helping your players to, to get better. So those are great tips. Some of these can be used in training tomorrow. It is very easy to download. You can print these things and you can actually give your players exactly the same advice as, as seen here. So that's, that's the reason why there are so many photos in this, in this website. Um, then we have a section and most of these modules have these same sections in terms of the referee. So, and this is important not because I'm a referee or it's because what do we need to watch for? If you know what the referee is looking for in a game, of course, as a player, you can learn not to make those mistakes and be caught by a referee committing a fault. Um, on the same thing, as a coach, you can, you know, uh, tell your players, look, referee is going to be looking for this point. So let's make sure that we all understand that. So it's, it's a great source in that perspective. And also if, if any, any in the audience in the future wants to be a referee, this is his key advice from that perspective too. And then uh, normally at the end, there's always a video uh, of a particular a real match. In this case, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a real match that you can um, actually watch and give you examples of what do they mean by, by line out and, and, and real examples. Typically these are very nice short videos only a few minutes and it's great great to watch and after that um at that all that content online out it comes the questions and the questions in my case i've re already um re replied to them but uh, they are all ticked but the 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 way it works you go through the questions that normally multiple choice they give you one uh, sometimes it's the only one answer or more than one of the lines is is correct and things like that. Very simple. And you click, click, click. And at the end, uh, you click a button here to say, OK. And then if you are correct, it give you, in this case, all the ticks. And if it's not correct, there will be some red cross. And you, have, you can do that over and over and over until you get the right answer. So there is no limit on how many times you can, um, uh, you can try these this, um, questions. So you can do that with all these modules. And um, it's fairly simple. Uh, it takes, um, I haven't done it all at once. I've done it one module at a time, whenever I had time. Uh, I think it takes a, a couple of hours to, to do all together. Depends on, on your availability. But before I get out of this website and go to my, back to my presentation, I wanted to show you that uh, in, there's a section here, which is um, called downloads. And I repeat it again in my presentation. There are lots of resources. For example, the, the handbook I was talking earlier on about this whole rugby ready, you can download it in different language, languages from here. Um, there are also other sources of information that are very useful to download, uh, normally in a PDF file, to, to read and to make use of. Even in, there is the things about uh, nutrition, uh, injury report forms, emergency plan, a player profile, etc. So quite quite a lot of uh, material there to download in, in your own time. And before I go into my presentation, let me share with you a very, let's see, is it this here? Yeah, so in this case, I would like to share with you a video, I hope. We can probably watch which is a little bit of like um, summary of all with this website is about and what we can learn. Hopefully, can you all see this screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. It's a, it's a couple of minutes video, so put your volume up and uh, and enjoy.
Okay, that was uh, with a bit of music to wake you up a bit. And I think I can go back to my presentation, see if I can do that, just to finish it off. So we went a little bit about the, um, talk about the modules, a bit of a, a bit of a live demo. And uh, once again, uh, just a, re a reminder of the downloads, the things you can download from this website, and most importantly, maybe this first uh, item, the Rugby Ready Manual or the, or the handbook, as they call it earlier, uh, in, in quite a few different languages, what you need. Uh, there are also um, a pocket concussion recognition tool, very useful, play a, play a profile form, quite a few things that we get ideas as a club for how we can implement this in, in the future. So. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a great tool, it's available for all the clubs in the world, and it's up to us actually to, to make use of it. And that's one of the main reasons of this webinar, is try to promote um, all of you to um, get involved and get yourself up to speed with many things from scratch if you're new, or uh, refresh your things if you know a bit, or test yourself if you're an expert, but it's, it's, it's really for, for everybody. So I think, yeah, that's... Um, that was all my all we had today, and I think I'm not sure how we're doing with time, but probably we can um, take questions. I think uh, Cyprian, can I give this back to you? Let me just see. Stop sharing, and I'll give. Let's see if I can do this right. Cyprian, do more, and I give you the. We make host. There you go. Okay, so um, the, let's uh, open the floor for any questions or comments or whatever you want to say. Uh, I, well, first of all, uh, thank you very much for this presentation. Guillermo it was very uh, uh, interesting, and I didn't know this kind of initiatives uh, existed. So I will pass the word uh, in the group of the social touch because I guess uh, everyone can use of it. And this leads me to my question. Uh, is these resources are uh, mainly focusing on the game at 15 players or are there also resources for other kind of rugby games now like uh, seven or even touch or do you know if in, in this particular rugby ready, I think it's, it's based on, on the game as it's played on the 15th. Even, okay. though, even though we don't, uh, the, the resource itself doesn't refer of how we play the game on a 15 on the pitch with, with strategy and stuff, but it focuses on how do we pass, how we do line out, how do we do scrum elements, which some of those elements might not be applicable to, to the sevens. But or, or tens or, or other groups, but a, a, it, it, it comprises everything as if you have it in the 15. So it's not a specific for, uh, I would say, uh, it's applicable to all of them because the rules, of course, they're all of them apply. It's not unique for seventh or for tenth, but 15 in general, I guess. Okay, thank you very much. But I will, I will take your point, Pascal. I'll, I'll try to look if, I, if there is anything else more specific. Uh, I, I will look myself, <laughs> but that's just excellent. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Uh, yeah, if I you. can just add something, um, you have some specific things for uh, 15s, but you don't have the same specific things for for touch, for example. Um, about mm -hmm. the, the rigor uh, of touch, you don't have it. It's just uh, the basis of uh, rugby mm -hmm. and specifically for uh, 15, but not for the other part. Yeah, okay, okay. But still, we can we can guess we can get some yeah, knowledge. Yeah, the basics uh, the basics knowledge is for all, all yeah. the will be uh, from. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions or comments in the group? It was very clear. I'm sure you can all understand my my poor English. Perhaps not. How long did you need, Guillermo? How long did you need to do all the all the process, all the, the formation? It's hard to say because I didn't do it in one go. Uh, I think each module takes you maybe maximum 10, 15 minutes, I would say. And if there are, uh, I don't know, 12 modules or something, so maybe a few hours. Um, 
if you get on it and you and you start going through things, it depends. You, if you are if you want to read everything, which I did, which is I think also interesting, takes you a bit longer. But um, I didn't do it in one go, so it's, it's it's kind of a nice thing because it's so quick to get in in to log in and you're in, and you can do a whole module concentrating in one aspect and finish the questions and then go and do something else, or you could you know do another module if you want to. It's yeah, very thanks. flexible, yeah, and it remembers of course all the all your data and. You, there is no time limit. Good to know. For Any those, other questions? Yeah. So for those who know rugby, it's pretty much very self-explanatory. Cyprian asked Guillermo how much it took, how much time. To be fair, I did uh, overestimate my rugby knowledge, so I did get some things wrong, and I had to reread actual uh, stuff. So it's really, it's really a good refreshment of your knowledge. Uh, myself, I haven't played for too long, but at the time that I played, I thought that I knew enough to just go ahead and do it. But actually, there's some stuff uh, that's very interesting to know and that enlightens you. you <laughs> enlightens you, actually gives you a clear layout, layout of the game. For those who don't know much about rugby or like the specific rules, uh, watch the videos. They're very, very easy to understand the pictures also pictures are very easy to understand and the little texts you have you know you don't feel like reading it's if you just read the few lines that are there it's not a lot you know but once you do it you'll understand it and it gives you a clear vision of how to play or how to approach certain things you can always you can always look up on youtube a that's what i did before i ever started rugby uh rugby for dummies it's very easy too, but that the uh, that that specific platform is very very helpful and is much more uh, detailed. So give it a go; you'll enjoy it, and it, it you will enjoy it genuinely. It's like a fun open book exam. You you generally learn something, and it's fun to do it. So thank you, thank you, Sam. One more question for you, yes, GMO. Um, you are uh, a trainer for a uh, uh, senior team. You know would be well. Did you learn something more with uh, this uh, with this formation or or not? Definitely, definitely. I uh, I I think uh, in the last few years and particularly every other World Cup, there there are new rules and new things. I was particularly interested in in, in to learn more about. For example, the line out and how people are, are, um, are raised, the jumpers are raised. And, and there is such a te technique to do it safely, which I wasn't too aware of. I'm, 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 most of my experience is, is more the backs, more than the forwards. Uh, and I know, in, for example, I pay a lot of attention on the scrummage techniques and the line out techniques and explain you, give you very good tips on what the correct position is, how to do it safely, how to train for it. What kind of muscles do you need to be used? So extremely good for me as a coach to look after my, my players and make sure that they're doing the right thing. But also as a player to see what, what am I doing wrong? Oh, I, I didn't know this was like this. And it's a good refresher on that point. So, so it goes down to the basic. And, and it's very easy, as, as Sam said, very easy to follow, understand, and everything with a picture or a video. So it's really foolproof. OK, thanks. <laughs> So um, I forgot to mention early at the beginning, but uh, the idea for this um, a webinar is that all of you go back and, and do it and uh, get your certificates um, send a copy of that certificate to um, Cyprian or to the email. I don't know how you're going to collect this information, Cyprian. And uh, in the future, uh, one of these days, once we are back uh, on the pitch or to be announced, we will have a, a, a little lottery with some prizes for those who um, who completed the the, um, the certificate. So that's that's a little bit of a carrot for you to go and finish and get your certificate done. Thanks, Guillermo. Maybe a last question for me. Um, for the players, you what do you think? From which age age they can do that? Uh, from twelve, from fourteen. It's hard to tell. I mean, some of the videos uh, you see very young kids actually being being used to demonstrate what the techniques are, and the language is as simple as for those kids to understand. 
So I think, uh, yeah, 10, 12, you are able to read and, and look at videos and things like that. You'll be surprised how much information these kids. And the text part of it is never too long. Uh, very simple explanation, simple words, simple commands. So I think it's done with those kids in mind as well, particularly when they are used in the examples. Uh, you can see not only adults playing, some of the videos you might see, but uh, you see it's, it's a mix um, in group ages uh, different groups of ages um in, in the in the report so i think uh it's, it's fairly safe for for all the yeah 12 14 easily can you can do it okay okay thanks all right so it's um quarter to nine um i think uh i'm thank you for 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 uh, your attention and for being here we'll uh, we'll hopefully try to do more of this in the future and try to keep uh, propagating the word um we have been trying to do this with in the A team. I I, um, I suggest uh, if you are a coach and you have a group uh, related to spread the world, uh, make your your players do it. Um, your other coaches, anybody, any parent involved in the game is welcome to do it. It's it's it's, it's a great resource, and we all be a, a better at at uh, keeping our players safe um, after doing this. So um, it's a great um, great uh, motivation for us to 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 keep using it. Indeed, yeah, Mo, that's very important. So I, I understand that people might be surprised of this mail or the communication uh, could be improved. So let's propagate and uh, motivate all your neighbors, friends, and on Saturday we'll speak again. That's it's really great program. I did it myself. I promote it. It's really, it's a not a lot of time and you get a lot of value of that. And we take it from a fun uh, point of view as well. So <laughs> with some wins. And let's yeah. see. But thanks. Excellent presentation, by the way, Guillermo. Thank yes. you. Thank you, Pascal. Thank you, everybody. And uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing you on the, on the next webinar. Let's see what, uh, what uh, we can keep you interested with next time. Thanks, Ipriam, for organizing. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you all. Have Great. a good evening. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Free. Bye. See you on Saturday. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>